This is yet another example of a question that really only takes about 20, 25, 30 seconds if we know what we're doing, but it is about a topic that a lot of people just don't end up studying. So there's a whole story here, but the phrase that matters most is somewhere in the middle. I saw it. There it is, margin of error. So uh, if you know what margin of error is, you're going to kind of already know what your answer is going to sound like, but let's read the whole thing. A company fills boxes with approximately 23 pounds of oranges. To test the accuracy of the filling process, 344 boxes of oranges were selected at random and weighed. Based on the sample, it is estimated the average weight of all boxes of oranges filled by the company in an eight-hour period is 23.1 pounds with an associated margin of error of 0.19 pounds. Which of the following is the best interpretation of this estimate? So, dumb summary version of margin of error, right, is we have an average, we have some sort of calculation, but you know, it could be wrong, right? And and there's statistical ways of figuring out where we might actually have an answer, right? So basically, our estimate could be off. Marge of error is giving us a range of possibilities where the real value probably lies. Not necessarily, but probably is within that range. So basically, take the number that they gave you and add and subtract 0.19 from it. So 23.1 plus or minus 0.19 is kind of how I'm thinking about this as I go through. So A, plausible values for the average weight of all boxes of oranges filled by the company are between 22.91 pounds and 23.29 pounds. Now, this is the SAT. I'm not going to actually add and subtract 0.19 to figure out if that's right. I'm just going to be like, yeah, that seems like good numbers. Let's just keep it in. And if multiple answers kind of have ranges that just by estimating sound like they could work, then I will actually do the calculation in my calculator But for now, I'm just like, yeah, it's giving me a range. And the word plausible here is perfect because it means possible, but it's not necessary that the value is within that range. It's it's very, very, very likely. If you've studied statistics, you know how this actually works, but just it's very likely, but it's not necessarily the case. But let's look at B. Plausible values for the average weight of all boxes of oranges filled with the company are less than uh, 22.91 pounds or greater than 23.29. So that's saying it's not even in the range. It's outside of the range, right? Less than 22 would be saying something like 21 and and greater than 23 would be something like 24. But if our our average is something like 23, then we would want to be within that, right? We want to be close to 23, not further from it. So this is getting the the ordering wrong. Uh, We want it to be between those things, right? Plus or minus means we're still close. See, the average weight of all the boxes of oranges filled with the company is less than 23.01 pounds. Now, to me, that sounds like um, just a random number. I don't know where that's coming from. I see 23.1 here. But still, even that is not right because we want to have a range, right? There's there's this 23.1, and we can go a little higher and a little lower, but less than 23.01, um, it doesn't have to be. It could be a little bit greater than 23.1, which would make it greater than 23.01. So I don't know where this number is coming from. I've tr- double-checked it. It's not a typo, but it just seems random. Uh, the average weight of all boxes of oranges filled by the company is greater than 23.01. So this is the same problem. Uh, notice now when I go back to choice A, again, assuming the calculation is correct, 22.91 is the kind of lower estimate. And so 23.01 is higher than that estimate. So uh, there's still some kind of, there's about 0.1 uh, of worth of orange weight that is not included in choice D. So why not, right? It doesn't matter. It's It's got to include that. I don't know why we're excluding it. So A is definitely the answer. I, I'm not really thinking about B, C, and D in any meaningful way. I'm, I'm mostly talking about the more to kind of help you if you're not sure what margin of error is. But if you know what it is and you know it's a range, A is the only one that sounds like a range. You know, it's it's between these two values. So it's kind of obvious. So I know I took a while to talk about this, but it's kind of a 30-second question.